I see the cameras are back on. Lovely. So what do we got to go here? Right there. I'm guessing that's death water. It looks like death water. Cube. Bring that back over here. Alright, so we got a laser. That much is obvious. But how are we going to redirect said laser? This isn't a, um... Doodad. Hang on. Maybe it is. Oh, wait. What I can do is I can go... Like that. Like that. Cool. So that's gonna power that over to there. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, what to do now? Okay. I need to take my little buddy through here. And I need to... Do that! And that should perform all the tasks necessary for me to do. So let's pick this thing up. Get on the train! Wah! Uh-oh. Wasn't anticipating this part. Crap! Whoa! I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Whoop, 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 whoop. I kind of like the new elevators. They're really streamlined. They take up a lot less space. There we go. So what is this room gonna be about? A lot of crap in the hallway again. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. I wonder what that's for. It doesn't seem to be for anything. Okay. So, aerial face, faith plate. Um, oh, that's a landing zone, and then that's the... Okay. Here we go. Whee! Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Yep. Okay, so I've got to basically grab this thing in midair, I'm guessing. Oh. Nope, not quite. Okay, up. And grab! Oh, wow! That was not good. Holy crap. I... Death happened. So, did I mess something up with that? I'm guessing I did. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have died. I think I hit a wrong button or something. Yep, thanks. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good right. luck. Let me try this again. Uh, there we go. I think I just stopped myself in midair and that messed up my chip. Easy fix. Easy fix. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Yep, interesting would be the word for that. Man, she just doesn't stop. She is beyond bitter at this point. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Have fun with that. Okay, so that's a jump over 
that way. I'm hoping I'll actually land in a good... Wow, this is actually a really big room. Hang on a second. Okay, so I see something all the way over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and caution to the wind and just... Wow. Oh, wow. Aha. That was... That was... That's what that was for. Okay, cool. At least I know that much. Alright, cool. Um, so that one's still over there, so I'm gonna go ahead and go... One, two... Send me on through over there. Yeehaw. Whack. Cool. Zoom? Oh, hey. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. So I'm guessing there's a, uh, a reason for that. Maybe not. Hmm. There's gotta be a cube in this room somewhere. Or maybe there isn't a cube in this room somewhere. What'd that button do? Oh, there's a there's a freaking dispenser all the way over there. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute. I bet I know that. And oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Is that a turret? Oh. Hang on. <laughs> the portal gun is now a sniper rifle, apparently. There's what I wanted. Send that cube on over. Yeah. Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Yes. So, I can throw that up there. And land this beautiful thing on that beautiful little button. Whoa! I don't want to fall through it. Thank you. Lovely. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Bitch. I am starting to really not like her. And that's saying something, because I like everyone. Okay, so... Over this we go. Hey, look, a companion cube. Oh, oh, boy. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Aww. Go ahead and grab another one. Another one from... Where? Oh. Alright, cool. Um... Oh. No. I fizzled that one, too. Oh, well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Is that the last one you're going to incinerate? Thank you. Ugh. Such a mess. Alright. I think I need that thing, so I'm gonna warp it up here. Like so. Uh huh. So I'm gonna Got those look like faith plates, but I don't, I don't even think they are for some reason. Oh, I see what we gotta do here. Speedy thing goes in. Of course.
course, maybe I did that slightly wrong. Let's try an orange portal right there. Blue portal down there. Let's drop this happy little thing. Right like that. Not exactly what I wanted to do. But that's fine, because uh, I've got an alternate way of doing that. Okay, blue portal, I need orange portal. So orange portal down there. Like so! Yes, that is what I wanted. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. You know what? No. I think I'm going to be that guy. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I wanted that companion kill. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. And I'll clean people's hats off, then I can fight on to get to see as soon as I can. There! If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Lovely. Okay. Wait, what did that, what did that do? I did, I did something by doing that. Hang on. Oh, right, that opens the door. Um, yeah. So, what am I looking for here? Aha! So, wait, can I take this through here? No, I can't. Which means I've got to beat the system. And I know how I beat the system. Because I've got to go whack. That. And that shoots a little grill out there. Mm, yeah. So let me position this in a way that won't kill me. Just like that. Pass on through here, and I think we're good to go. 